So, ladies and gentlemen, without further ado, I'd like to introduce our next state representative, Janet Cruz, and our next property appraiser, Bob who's here tonight. I want to especially thank, it's been a long road. We've worked hard and we're all tired. But I want to thank my family. They're out there. My mom is there. Mom, I love you. My brother, my, brother, my sister, my wonderful husband who I could not do this without. There he is. I love you, sweetheart. My son-in-law, Martin, who I credit with giving me the three most beautiful grandchildren in the entire world. It is my honor, the people of um, District 62 have spoken tonight, and they believe, they have confidence in me. They said, take your 70%, win Janet, go back to Tallahassee, finish the work that you have to do, yeah. and there is much work to do. So I know most of you know this, but for those of you who don't know this, my predecessor was the great Bob Henriquez yeah. in Tallahassee. Today, you mentioned his name in the halls of Tallahassee, and they're like, love Bob. We love Bob. And I know, I know that Bob will take that intellect, that ability to work with others, all everything that he has rolled into a perfect package and take it to the property appraiser's office and be the best damn property appraiser campus ever. certainly had our back. I can tell you that, I, I will be honest with you, we did polling, or there was polling done right after the primary, and we were 15 points down. Um, but it, but when we looked at the polling and really dug into it and started realizing we put a plan together, oh, that feels good. <laughs> that was not the plan. Excuse me. That was not the plan. <laughs> that was the greatest thing I've ever, can I take this home? Um, exactly. <laughs> This is what Charlie Chris does, I, I heard. <laughs> uh, okay, let's, where was I? Uh, we put a plan together, we put a plan together based on what we saw in the polling, which was we were running against a, 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 an incumbent senator with, with an incredible name ID, um, and we needed to do two things. We needed to raise our name ID. We needed to, we needed to let people know who I was and, and my credentials, my skill set, and then we need to remind people about who Senator Storms was. Um, and that was the entire plan. We needed resources to do that. And, and God willing, we went out there. Andy Scaglione standing right here. Yeah! 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 Our team was akin to a monkey doing something with a football. So we have, we have the monkey and the football right here. But Brian, Victor, Nuria, um, uh, you know, uh, uh, Jason, Craig, uh, the sign guy, unbelievable. Our sign guy. Uh, every line, every point of the sign. Right here. Uh, Andy, as I mentioned, Dennis. Uh, just everybody. Jonathan Brill early on, Anna Cruz helped in the end. It was an incredible team that we put this, this whole thing together. Um, I need to thank my, my beautiful wife. Yay! Yay!
you know. No honeydew list. I got about like a month and a half to do honeydews before the job starts. But, um, no, but she's put up with so much. This is a this is a tough road. It was really it was a sprint to the finish. Five months, a lot of time away from the kids and from home. Um, trying to couple that with with having a successful football season, which we still had Jesuit on Friday to take care of. Um, it's been a lot. But I can tell you, it's been it's been an incredible journey, and things just started rolling our way. I, I can, it's amazing. The, uh, uh, about three weeks ago, the same day that we got the Times endorsement, my my I looked at my watch to see what time it was. It stopped at about three minutes to seven. It still stopped right now, right there. And, and I said, and I would not. And I, and I started going to fix it. And I said, this is an omen. Work right until seven o'clock, and we did tonight. We were still at West Chase at seven o'clock, greeting voters in the in the dark. Uh, and just everything along the way. We happened to be driving the other day, and I happened to look around, and I was, we happened to be next to, next to the cemetery where, where my parents and, and my sister um, are buried. And I said, and, and I said, Chris, I said, just pull in here real quick. Um, it, was, it was like God was speaking to me, said, come and get a little bit extra strength because you need it right now. Oh, I don't do it, I'm the star. <laughs> um, today, today we were out of, we drove about nine different precincts. We've, we, I'll tell you who we went to Casa Garajo today. We went all the way down. We were, we were. You guys understand that, don't you? Yeah. We were, we were all the way down in West in, 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 uh, in, in Fishhawk, and I was standing there holding a sign, and a ladybug landed on my hand. I mean, it, just everything just seemed to be going our way, and so, uh, and, and not that I'm not superstitious. We saw a rainbow, and the flying monkeys, the whole bit. You know, so. Um, no, it, it really has been amazing. Let me let me say this real quick. And I, I know that there's a number of folks that work in, in the property appraiser's office uh, that are here tonight. Uh, I'm I'm very proud, uh, and I'm not calling this. I mean, we can't do that. But but it looks very very good for us. But I'm very proud to be your next boss. Um, I know there's some really good things down there. It, it hurt. It, it really it hurt me on the on the campaign trail. Every time that I heard we've got to clean up the mess in the property appraiser's office, because I know there is no mess in the property appraiser's office. Now there are always things that can be that can be made better, and we're going to do that. But there's no mess. You guys have done a great job. that came on early on board, people that worked with my, with my brother, my late brother, Ronnie. Um, uh, he's up there. He's the dirty trickster. So uh, He's here someplace. I know he is. Uh, he might have been that fan. <laughs> but, uh, uh, and, uh, I'm, so, I'm so happy to have had those folks on board from the beginning. And, and uh, uh, there's too many people here to, to, to thank to even begin. It, it just understand that I'm humbled um, and, and I'm ready to get to work. And... Uh, uh, this has just been an incredible ride, uh, you know, to be, you know, it was told to me a long time ago that, that somebody with a Z at the end of their name, a Latino, couldn't win countywide, okay? Well, we just, we just burst through that glass ceiling, okay? Uh, yeah. take a little bit of page out of what we did because we had Republicans, we had Democrats, we had liberals, moderates, conservatives, all... All the labels you want to throw out there, they all came on board, and they were all part of Team Henriquez, and they didn't care about the politics like an involved. Hey, hey, and a lot, a lot of people took, you know, went ahead and said, "I don't care what people think, I don't care what a party thinks," and said, "This is the right. You're the right person for the job." They put their trust in me, and I understand that. And you know what? If we would do that across the board, we'd have a lot better, a, a lot better political here, process here. in this country. Yeah. Huh? What do you got to do Friday? Kick Jack's butt. That goes without saying. <laughs> Easy. No, no, I don't want to make that prediction. But I can tell you this, but. Huh? You can talk to you about it. We do have some Jesuit fans here, too. We won't be as easy on Jesuit as we were on Rhonda Storms, though. Let me say this in all seriousness. In all seriousness. Senator Storms, and, and I've, I've, all through this, from the very beginning, with, with the turmoil in the office and, and our incumbent uh, property appraiser, Rob Turner, listen, I, I, I feel for what he's going through, okay? And I know a lot of it, whatever it is, okay? His family's hurting, he's hurting, he spent 16 years building an office, okay? I'm going to step into the, to that office and do the best job that I can, but I honor his service in the 16 years that he spent there, uh, regardless of, of the circumstances. 
and I tried to keep it on that level all along. And Senator Storm, I, I want to say this in, in all seriousness. And she, she the other day in one of our cam, uh, you know, candidate forums, I said something about that, and she, she kind of dismissed it. But I do honestly respect her service. Um, yeah. It's not easy to throw yourself out there uh, in, in, and to do this, to run for office. Okay, and, and, and she's said some things over the years that have rankled some feathers, but you know what? It's not easy to always stand up for what you believe in, okay? We're proud tonight to have, to have defeated her, um, and, 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 and I'm proud of our efforts, but I do honor her service, and, and I wish the best for her, okay? And I think she's probably pretty angry with me right about now. But that's okay, <laughs> but, I, but I, I promise I do that, and if I ever hear from her, you know, hopefully we'll get a chance to bear that hatchet, but I, but I, I do honor her service and wish her the best in the future. In the meantime, we're getting ready to take over the property appraiser's office in a couple of months. I want, you, I want you all to enjoy yourselves, eat all the food that's here, drink all the drink that's here, enjoy the, the, the best band in, in, that I know of in the world. Thank you for being here, I thank my brother. You know, we, uh, thank uh, Joey. Oh, I'm going to get to all the, uh, the electors here in a second. I want to thank my brother for being here. He's my, he's my inspiration in life. He's the, he's the talented one. Yeah. If you stick around long enough, you might see Simon on Gungas and me, and me singing. Uh -oh. You never know what might happen. Um, I, know, I know we have, we have uh, State Representative Betty Reed this year. Where's Mike? Mike, he was here. He was here. Yoli Capine, Councilwoman Yoli Capine.